Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for diabetes drugs as an introduction to pharmacology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the basics, including insulin, blood glucose, and diabetic ketoacidosis. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one, the nurse has two orders of insulin to administer to her client before breakfast. The first is a regularly scheduled dose of insulin, and the second is a sliding scale dose of insulin. The nurse expects to see which of the following types of insulin in the sliding scale order. And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause and think about the answer. So the answer here is A, rapid-acting insulin or short-acting insulin. Rapid-acting and short-acting insulin are most often given for sliding scale orders because they have quicker onsets and are typically used to lower blood glucose right before meals. C, insulin glargine or lantus is a long-acting insulin and D, regularly scheduled orders of insulin can be administered alongside sliding scale orders. Question number two, diabetic ketoacidosis is the result of the answer here is B, a decrease in insulin leading to the breakdown of body fats. Diabetic ketoacidosis is a complication of diabetes caused by the lack of insulin-mediated glucose delivery, which results in the use of fats for energy instead of glucose. Moving on to question number three, which of the following oral diabetic drugs will increase the secretion of insulin from the pancreas? The answer here is B, sulfonylureas and meglitinides. The increase of insulin secretion from the pancreas is one of the mechanism of actions of these drugs, but not of biguanides. Question number four, what are the three cardinal signs of diabetes mellitus? The answer here is D, polyuria, polydipsia, and polyphagia. Increased urination, or polyuria, increased thirst, which is polydipsia, and increased hunger, which is polyphagia, are the three cardinal signs of diabetes mellitus, or the three Ps of diabetes. Question number five is which of the following altered breath smells does the nurse anticipate in a client experiencing diabetic ketoacidosis? And the answer here is A, a fruity breath. During diabetic ketoacidosis, ketones, a byproduct of the breakdown of fats, build up in the blood. Ketones can be expelled through breathing and can cause a fruity breath smell. Question number six, type one diabetes is usually caused by genetics, while type two diabetes is more likely to be caused by diet and lifestyle. The answer here is A, true. Type 1 diabetes is generally diagnosed much earlier in life due to a higher genetic link, while type 2 diabetes is usually diagnosed later in life due to modifiable risk factors. Question number seven, which of the following oral diabetic medications must be held for 48 hours before and after a radiology test using iodine? The answer here is C, metformin. Metformin must be held 48 hours before and after radiology tests using iodine due to the potential development of lactic acidosis, especially in the presence of renal failure. Question 8. Which of the following insulins has the longest duration and is typically administered once per day? And this is C, glargine or lantus. Lantus has a duration of 24 hours and is most likely to be ordered once per day. And our last question for this quiz, number nine. One of the major complications of diabetes mellitus is blindness, especially if left undiagnosed and untreated. The right answer here is A, true. Diabetes can cause retinopathy, which is caused by changes in retinal blood vessels, which can eventually lead to blindness. And that's it for the diabetes drug quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.